I work at an awesome company called Sibicon here in Denmark. They got 3D scanners and I got a 3D printer. I've had a little trouble with my CRTM. Well, the bed isn't exactly flat, so that's what I'm going to figure out today. First, I'm going to clean the glass bed in alcohol. I'm using Dimafix for adhesion and it's kinda sticky. I'm placing some reference markers on the glass. The software uses this to stitch different pictures together to create a 3D scan. It's very difficult to take pictures of something that's transparent, so I'm coating the glass with titanium dioxide. It's a white powder that's mixed with alcohol. Maybe next time, I'm using this one. I'm using blue tag to secure the glass from falling, just to be safe. The projector that is placed in the middle of the scanner is projecting stripes in different thicknesses and directions. The software uses this to stitch together a 3D scan. Up in the corner here is the live view. The green numbers is the reference marker that has been given a number. The grey plate here is the actual scan. This box is representing the scanner's field of view. Hold up! I got to compare this to something that actually works. I'd better start over with an IKEA mirror.
start by importing the STL files from the scanner. Then I'm making a 3 to 1 alignment to get control of the X, Y and Z directions. Now I'm making a fitting plane on the surface of the scan. I'm using this plane to check how flat the mirror is. Finally, I'm placing a bunch of deviation labels. They will show precisely how much the mirror deviates from the plane. I actually scanned another mirror while I was at it. It's even flatter than the one I just showed you. Of course, that's the one I'm using on the printer right now. The whole mirror only deviates 0.02 mm except one corner that deviates 0.03 mm. Right here is the original glass bed from my CR10. The deviations here are way bigger, more than 0.26 mm. It's impossible to get the bed tramp right on the whole surface and impossible to get a perfect first layer. Finally, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this nerdy video. And thank you to Sibicon for letting me use this awesome equipment in my spare time. If you want to know more about 3D scanning, subscribe to my channel and then jump over to Sibicon's website. If you like my video, give it a like. If you didn't, then give it a dislike. Subscribe to my channel, new video is coming soon.